Hi everyone, my name is Tom and today I'm going to be showing you how to use AirDNA. So here is where you can explore any short-term rental market across the globe. Uh, to do that, you just need to click on any of these countries. Uh, and once you've done that, you'll be brought to the overall market view here. So here you've got all the markets in the US um, and by default, it will be ordered by the market score. So the market score is this number here uh, in the blue circle. So this is how we kind of grade our markets. And we'll go into that in a bit more detail shortly. Um, you can change the order. So if you wanted to see markets um, that performed highest uh, in terms of revenue, you can just click that there and that'll show us the highest performers for revenue. Uh, same goes for occupancy and daily rate. Alternatively, you can apply some filters. So at the top here, you've got the type filter. Uh, and this is where you can choose markets by like their, their type. So if you focus on coastal markets specifically, you can hit that and then apply. And that'll bring up all the coastal markets in the US. Um, alternatively, you can actually search for specific markets as well. So say you wanted to compare two markets against one another. So why don't we look at uh, LA and San Francisco, for example and then hit apply and that'll bring those two up. And then you've got the average revenue, occupancy and daily rate for a listing in this market over the last 12 months. Um, so let's click onto San Francisco and look at that in a bit more detail. So you can see on the right here, the map is updated and we're looking at San Francisco. And on the left here, you've got that market score. So these are the metrics that go into uh, this market score calculation. So we look at investability, rental demand, revenue growth, seasonality and regulation and they all go to work in tandem to create this overall score. Um, on the right here, you've also got the average um, for a property in this market across your revenue, occupancy, average data rate, as well as RevPAR. And these again are from the last 12 months. And then if we scroll down, we've got a bit more information on the market on the whole. So you've got the number of available listings, um, you know, listings by rental size. You can see it's predominantly one bed listings in, in San Francisco. Um, you've also got uh, amenities, which is super useful. So you can kind of see what's a need to have in this market and maybe what's like a nice to have, uh, as well as the largest property managers in the market as well. So that's some very high level information on, on the market. Um, if we scroll down, you've got occupancy, revenue rates and rev pass. So this is where we can get a bit more detailed in our analysis. So, um, Occupancy comes up first, and this is the occupancy rate by month, the average occupancy rate for uh, San Francisco. You can actually change the length of time on these. So if you want to, you can go back as far as the last five years, if you want, and see how that's changed over time. Um, also, if you click on the questions themselves, these represent kind of different metrics. So how long do we get, how long we get staying? So you've got the average uh, length of stay now. So you can see in January of 2023, for example, it was three and a half days. And the other thing to make note of is you've got the option to export all of the data. So any, any of these graphs across any of these timeframes, you can export to a CSV file. So you can then pull that into a spreadsheet and kind of do a bit more in-depth analysis if you like. Um, and then the same thing goes for the revenue, the rates and the rev par. Um, each one of these will, each one of the questions I should say represents a different metric. And again, you've got the option to view those over different timeframes. Um, so super useful to kind of get an idea of how a market has performed over time and kind of get an idea of any patterns or trends within those markets. So that's, um, that's a, an overall market overview. Uh, you've also got the option to look at sub markets here. So San Francisco is obviously broken down by zip codes and neighborhoods. Um, and each one of those represents one of these sub markets. So if you click on the Russian Hill, for example, here we've got all exactly the same information as we saw previously. Uh, for San Francisco, but now we're just looking at uh, Russian Hill specifically. So it's kind of na a narrower data set. So really helpful to kind of help you um, narrow down your market search uh, and kind of see which areas in the city maybe outperform others. Like I say, all the same information. So it's also be useful. And you've got the option to look at those different metrics and those different timeframes again. Okay, so let's look at STR listings now. So this is another area you can make use of the filters. Um, so the STR listings page does also show all the, the STR listings in the market that you've got pulled up. So in this case, we're looking at Russian Hill. Um, again, you've got the option to use those filters. 
so you've got the listing filters here so you can look at different uh, listing types different real estate types number of, like limit the number of bedrooms or bathrooms as well as the, how many it can accommodate and the more you've got the option to look at price tiers whether they're professionally managed or not and a couple more filters that will be coming soon to the app uh, so let's just close that uh, you can also then click on the map here. Each one of these dots represents a listing and you can click onto it and I'll take you to the listing page. Alternatively, you can just do it from the, the listings page on the left here. And once you've done that, it'll give you very high level information on this, on this property's performance over the last 12 months. Um, really useful here. You can see obviously where, where it's located, the type of property it is and where it sits in what kind of price tier. So in this case, we're looking at an upscale property. You can click on the images, kind of scroll through, see what kind of property it is. It is. You know, if you're doing property comparison, kind of working out where your listing might sit against another one of these, this is obviously really helpful to go through. Uh, so we'll just close that. And then you've got, um, yeah, it's performance over the last 12 months. You've got revenue, average daily rate, as well as occupancy. Um, so that's kind of how you can use AirDNA to go from a very zoomed out view uh, all the way to an individual listing. Um, the other really useful feature we obviously have is our property earning potential calculator. So if you input an address here, we can give you an idea how much that property could generate as a short term rental over the next 12 months. Uh, so yeah, I just input an address. We've got the option to change the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and guests it can accommodate, uh, and that will have an impact on the uh, pricing projections. So let's just change these a little bit. Yeah, update. And you can see that figure has changed. Uh, so you've got the revenue projection. That figure is based on full-time availability over the next 12 months, the average daily rate, You'd be able to charge and the projected occupancy rate during that time you've also got the financial calculator so if you open that up you've got the option to input a purchase price here let's so we'll do that uh, and then any annual operating costs so what it's going to cost you to run the the property as a short-term rental over the next 12 months as well as any startup costs you anticipate uh, going forward so then we hit save um, you can see you've got the net income, the expenses, and then in turn the cap rate can kind of give you an idea of what this property could uh, could generate as a as a return on investment over that first year. Um, and then we've got the revenue broken down by month over the next twelve months. You can kind of see the high and low points across that time as well. Um, you've got here. You've got the how has the estimate changed over time? So this takes into account market trends. And again, you can see. Uh, you can change this to the last two years as well as the last 12 months to kind of see how that's changed over time. Uh, and then right at the bottom, you've got top competitors. So these are the properties that we've determined are the most comparable to the address that you've entered. Um, so you, really useful because you can click on these again, go to the listing page, see how they performed over time, see how similar they are to your property um, in terms of, you know, the bedroom, bathroom and guest count, but also whether they have any amenities that, that your property doesn't have. Or, or anything kind of sets them apart in that way. And you can scroll across here to see them all. So that is a very brief uh, look at AirDNA. Thanks very much.